Well, uh, my awesome thing of the week is uh, something Steam put out there. And actually, my brother uh, over there, go follow Lord Sorg on your uh, in, uh, sorry Facebook and your Twitch. He's doing some great, great game streams over there. And, of course, takes over the studio in October for uh, Extra Life, usually. Uh, but uh, so Steam out of nowhere came out with the Steam Deck. It's up for pre-order. It starts at three ninety nine. It's starting the ship in December of this year. You can reserve it now. It's a very Nintendo Switch looking device, and it's going to run Linux. It's going to run probably most of your Steam games, um, and it's actually using. They don't have to convert things for a. a Linux version, they're actually running a sort of compatibility mode from the sounds of things that's going to let everything uh, play on there. But of course, you could, if you'd like, if you're so inclined, uh, you can definitely uh, uh, load Windows on it just to play that too. Uh, so it goes up to, I think, as high as $650, depending on how much uh, on, on device storage you want to use. Uh, it's a nice size screen. Again, it starts at four hundred dollars. Although that's like only sixty-four gigabytes, and that's like sometimes a game. So, like, so I don't know what if you'd want to uh, do something like that. Uh, but oh, 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 oh. So there is. Wait, connect the peripherals. Throw a picture on the remo big screen. Removable storage. Yeah. Oh, there is removable storage in it. Okay. Yeah, that I an SD slot. I think there's an SD. Okay. So so that's definitely expandable. Just throw a terabyte card in there and let's go. Uh, and again, it's like all of your like. Listen, I, I'm so, I have over 300 games in my library over the years because I bought a lot of sales and packs and stuff. Uh, so like right off the bat, while I don't have like the full on like brand brand new games, like I'd have a lot to play on this thing, and probably do kind of okay with the 64 uh, gig version there, right? So um, I, this. This looks promising. I, I don't know. I, I don't know entirely what who's this for, but if it's like you don't you want something portable, and these are the same games that are on your Xbox, they're on your uh, PS5 in a lot of cases, and those don't have portable solutions right now. And Steam would be the only thing uh, aside from doing the Nintendo Switch. And honestly, and I'd like to see. Uh, I don't know if there's a specs comparison, but I gotta imagine this thing's probably a little more powered than even what the Switch does. Uh, so, so, so for the Steam, for the portions of your Steam library that are Windows only, mm -hmm. this, th they'll still run on this? Uh, supposedly, yes. Uh, I, I'm curious if it's going to be 100% compatibility with uh, Windows games. But uh, it, it, it does say that there's just this compatibility layer they built into Linux that is going to, I guess, emulate. It's probably just a Windows emulator of some sort. But, of course, I'm sure it's fine-tuned since the specific hardware. Uh, to run better, so you know we won't know until December until somebody gets in their hands and, and sees how these games perform. I can't imagine this thing performing like if you bought a two thousand dollar gaming Alienware laptop, for, perhaps. But it's also a smaller screen and things too. Um, mm -hmm. So, but again, I, I you know I don't see this as a primary game device. I consider it as the on the go game device if you you know if if you so desire. <laughs> 